Hello everyone, welcome back. You are watching Math with Anila. In yesterday's class, we have studied the method of elimination by substitution. Today, let's study the elimination by equating the coefficient. Consider the two algebraic expressions x minus 3y is equal to minus 1 and 2x minus y is equal to 8. So, uh, let's see how to simplify this by uh, elimination by equating the coefficients. So, here we need to remember four steps. The first one is multiply any one of this equation. Here if you see that you can see that the coefficient of x is 1 here and in the second expression it is 2. And if you consider the coefficient of y in this first expression it is 3 minus 3 and the second one it is minus 1. So what we need to do is we have to make the coefficient of any one variable same in both the expressions. And then after making it uh, making the coefficient equal you have to go with addition or subtraction of uh, these two equations. Then we have to solve it. After solving whatever the value of the unknown we are getting that should be substituted in any one of this equation to find the value of the other unknown. This is how the procedure goes. Here uh, let's make uh, the coefficient of x equal in both the equations. For that what you need to do is you need to multiply the first expression with the number 2 since here the coefficient of x is 2. If the coefficient was some other number we would have multiplied with that number to the expression number 1. So in case if you feel like making the coefficient of y same then you need to multiply the expression 2 the equation 2 with the number 3. So here first let's make the coefficient of x same. So I'm going to multiply the first equation by 2. You will get this equation as 2x minus 6y is equal to minus 2. So whenever you are multiplying with any number, you need to multiply each term of the equation with that number. Now write the next expression 2x minus y is equal to 8. So here I have made the coefficient of x equal. Now we can subtract it since both are of the same sign. Since both the numbers are positive, we can subtract it. Even both the numbers are negative also, you can, uh, you have to do the subtraction. In case if the numbers are of opposite sign, that means one is plus and another one is minus, then you have to add in that case. Here, since both are positive, I'm going to subtract it. So we will have to minus this. So this minus y will, will become plus y and this will be minus 8. When you subtract, 2x and minus 2x it gets cancels and then minus 6y and plus y becomes minus 5y that is equal to minus 10 since this is minus 2 and this is minus 8. Now we have to simplify the third step y is equal to minus 10 by minus 5 that is equal to 2. So we got the value of y as 2. Now the fourth step is that you need to substitute the value of this y whatever we have uh, obtained here to any of this equation to find the other value. Let's substitute in equation number 1. Substitute y is equal to 2 in equation number 1 we will get x minus 3 into 2 is equal to minus 1. So x minus 6 is equal to minus 1. x is equal to minus 1 plus 6. That implies x is equal to plus 5. So the value of x is equal to 5. We can write, write it as therefore x is equal to 5 comma y is equal to 2. This is how we solve the simultaneous linear equations by using the method of elimination by equating the coefficients. Consider another question 3x minus 4y is equal to 10 and 5x minus 3y is equal to 24. Uh, if you see this question uh, we can say that uh, like we cannot multiply any one particular equation by the coefficient of any one of the variable. Here both are different so in this case what we have to do is we have to multiply both the equations by the coefficient of the similar variable. Now either you can consider x or you can consider y. So I, uh, we will consider x and the first equation we will multiply with the coefficient of the x in the second expression that means this we need to multiply by 5 and uh, you have to multiply the second expression with the coefficient of x in the first expression that is into 3. So we will get the new equation as 15x minus 20y is equal to 50 and the second expression will be 15x minus 9y is equal to 72. Now 
as usual since these are of same sign we have to have the subtraction minus this becomes plus 9y and this will be minus 72. Now when you subtract it this get cancels and here this will be plus 9y and minus 20y is minus 11y is equal to uh, this will be minus 22 because this is plus 50 and this is minus 72 the difference is 22 and the greater number is negative here so minus 22 so y is equal to minus 22 divided by minus 11 that is equal to 2 so you will get the value of y as 2 in this case now you need to substitute the value of y in any one of this equation to find out the other variable that is the variable x let's substitute 3x minus 4 into 2 is equal to 10 this implies 3x minus 8 is equal to 10 3x is equal to 10 plus 8 x is equal to 18 by 3 that is equal to 6 you will get the value of x as 6 so in this uh, equation when you are solving this particular equation you are getting the value of x as 6 and y as 2 now along with this equation there is some more sub questions that is after finding the value of x and y you have to find out what is x minus 2y and 3y minus 2x let's find it out the first one is x minus 2y so that is equal to x what's the value of x 6 minus 2y 2 into 2 that is equal to 6 minus 4 the value of x minus 2 is 2 again here and in the second expression 3y minus 2x 3 into y is 2 minus 2 into x is 6 so 6 minus 12 that is equal to minus 6 this is the value you are getting for the second expression this is how you have to simplify the simultaneous linear equations by the method of elimination by equating the coefficients this question is for you that is 2x plus y is equal to 23 4x minus y is equal to 19 solve for x and y and also find x minus 3y as well as 5y minus 2x this is uh, the method of elimination by equating the coefficients and in the next class let's study uh, the method of cross multiplication. Thank you.